Hello everyone. In this Geographer Online video, we're going to be looking at Spearman's rank. Specifically, we're going to be looking at how we can use it and what it means. Spearman's rank is normally used on scatter graphs. If you look at these graphs over here, you can see that um, from the points, we can try and create a specific type of correlation. We're going to be looking for if it's got a positive or a negative correlation or relationship. These over here, the RS or the Spearman's rank value is going to indicate one. And as you can see, they're forming a strong positive correlation. All right now, it's possible that the Spearman's rank number could either be one or minus one. The minus one will denote any correlation that is a negative or an inverse relationship, where one of the values increases, the other one will decrease. In a positive relationship, when one increases, the other one will also increase. However, you might get certain graphs uh, or scatter graphs where there might not be any form of correlation or there, there might not be any type of relationship. In this case, the Spearman's rank will equal a zero. And as you can see over here, uh, these points that are on the scatter graph, they don't have any relation to each other. Let us look now at how we would calculate the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient uh, using some data. As we can see in this graph, we have height of sunflowers in centimeters and we have the width of the stem. These are going to be the two different types of data that we'll be comparing the relationship to on Spearman's rank. In the first stage, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we put all of the heights of the sunflower in rank order. The highest will be ranked number one, and the lowest will be ranked number six in this case, or sorry, seven in this case. Then we do the same for the width of the stems. We put all these in rank order as well, with the highest being rank number one, and the lowest being rank number seven, or however many different variables you have. It doesn't have to be seven ranks. Then what you can see, the second stage, uh, what we do is that we take away one rank from the other rank, and we're left with this D. This is the difference between the two ranks. And you can see over here, uh, in the first line, uh, both are ranked at four, so four minus four would be equal zero, and so forth going all the way down. Don't worry in this instance if the number is negative or positive, it doesn't really make any difference at all. The next stage, we want to be calculating this d squared number. So we basically square the d result that we had from the previous calculation, and we work out what that is. This is why it didn't really make any difference if the number was negative, because once you square it, it's always going to indicate a positive number. Finally, what we want to do is we want to add up the total of all the d squared numbers. And as you can see at the bottom, once we add it all up, it comes to the total of eight. This is where we start using the formula for the Spearman's rank. And the formula is Spearman's rank equals one minus six times the sum of d squared over n cubed minus n. So we had seven pieces of data, that means that n equals seven, uh, the sum of d squared equals eight, and when we plug all of these into the formula, we get one minus six times eight over seven cubed minus seven. And we can see when we do the calculation, it works out as 48 over 336. That will give us a Spearman's rank of 0 0.857. And generally speaking, the closer we are to one, the stronger the correlation is going to be. However, that isn't always necessarily the case, as we'll look at later. Now let's look at another example over here. This example is a little bit different and a little bit harder. We have more pairs, so the n number will be greater. And if you look very, very carefully, certain situations, the are, uh, there are some strange ranking numbers. This works out because often one of the numbers might be the same. So there might be two rank threes, for example, um, or something like that. Basically, in this situation, what we do is you can see we've got a rank, if we're looking over here at the price of the uh, 50 silliliter bottle in euros, you can see that we've got a rank one, we've got a rank two, but then there are two numbers that are indicating one euro 20. And that would be rank three and rank four. 
So what we do in this situation is that we add rank 3 and rank 4 together. That would make 7. And then we divide it by 2. So each rank would be 3.5 and 3.5. You can see further on that there is um, also uh, no therefore rank 4. Uh, we skip it and we also skip, um, uh, well in this case we're going to be skipping rank 5 because we've got rank 5, rank 6 and uh, rank 7. Um, all combined together, they're all the same number, uh, and therefore these different ranks are going to be uh, 5, 6, and 7. They'll come to a total of 18, because there are three different units. We divide that 18 by 3, and we can see therefore that we have three rank 6s. Just make sure you do this, this makes it a little bit harder. Um, we can see obviously in this calculation 2, we've come to a uh, sum of d squared equals 285.5. Right, so when we plug everything into this um, formula, the rs equals 1 minus 6 times the sum of d squared over n cubed minus n, and we do the calculations, we can see that in this situation we have the Spearman's rank being 0 0.73. In fact, it is negative 0 0.73. If this number is positive, it's going to be a positive correlation. If it's negative, it's going to be a negative correlation. So remember, one, both, in, both of the different uh, figures increase. One goes up, the other one goes up. In a negative correlation, one goes up, the other one goes down. So it'll be the second type of um, scatter graph, where the line is going to be going down. Now, unfortunately, this number is not particularly useful by itself. What we have to do is we have to try and make sure that this number is going to be statistically accurate. And we test this statistical accuracy in what we call the significance testing. Um, basically, we take a graph, and you can see over here on the left-hand side of this uh, slide, we have the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient graph that shows the degrees of freedom. Basically, if you see those three red lines, we want our point to be plotted somewhere up in those three lines, or preferably towards the top right-hand corner, as close as we can to get it there. Um, if it's below the, uh, the line closest to the bottom left-hand corner, then we reject this. So if we take 0 0.73, um, we have to plot it n minus 2, so the amount of pairs that we had, um, minus 2. That means that we had on the previous example we had 10 pairs. We minus 2, and we start plotting from 8. And then we go up on the left-hand side and we plot 0 0.73 um, on the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. And degrees of freedom, we plot it as 8. Uh, over here, we ignore the minus part. We, we don't really care about that. And what we can see is when we plot this point from this statistical test that we did, we can see that that dot is just about on that 5% uh, significance level. What does that mean? That means that if we were to do this test 100 times, 95 times out of 100, we would get the same result. In other words, that means that we are 95% sure that our result is reliable and it didn't occur by chance. There is a 5% chance only that it occurred by accident. You can see why these lines are important. The, um, if it was on the 0.1% percent line, that would indicate uh, that we were 99.9% certain of this relationship. So the higher it is, the better, of course. If it's below that line, we reject any hypothesis that we've created, and we don't have enough data to basically make an accurate uh, assessment of the Spearman's rank co um, correlation coefficient. And we would reject our hypothesis, and we reject the data that we had there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you have done, please press the like button. And if you'd like to see more content of this variety, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you again for watching and have a really great day.